Korean people are smarter about plastic surgery than Americans. This strange thing happened to me, I want to say like six years ago, maybe five years ago. This is when, this is kind of like the middle of my hanging out with Korean people life. Um, like, I had hung out with Korean people for a long time, but I still didn't quite understand too much about Korean culture. But, so anyway, I was hanging out with these two Korean girls at a bar in San Diego. And we were talking, and I had just discovered about double eyelids. For foreigners, for Americans, the, the Korean ideas of beauty are a little, like, strange. We, it's not common to us. Small face, big eyes, um, high nose, that stuff. But I had heard of those. But then someday, a Korean friend told me about how uh, double eyelids are attractive. The idea of when your eyes are open, there's a little line above. That's somehow good. Okay, whatever. That was very strange to me. So I was still playing with that idea in my head, like, why is that attractive? What, what a weird thing. So I was talking to these two Korean friends at a bar, and, I, and one of them had double eyelids, and I said to her, wow, very nice double eyelids you have there. It was supposed to be a joke. And then she said, oh, <laughs> my mom didn't give these to me. I did not understand her joke. She was joking back to me. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, does that mean your father gave them to you? Does your father have, and I asked her, does your father have double eyelids? And she looked back at me like I was stupid. She's like, no, the doctor gave them to me. And I was like, oh, I see this is a joke. You didn't get them genetically. You got them from a doctor. Oh, ha, ha, ha. And then about a week later, I was hanging out with another Korean friend who was a closer friend who I knew much better. And I was talking to her and I said, oh my God, one of my other Korean friends, I was talking to her and she got double eyelid surgery. Can you believe it? And then this other Korean friend I'm telling the story to, she said, ah, so did I. And I was, I was so shocked. I, I didn't know how common these little surgeries were. Now, it's, at the time I thought of them as plastic surgery. And now I realized they're really not plastic surgery. They're kind of like 45 minute little things where a doctor just kind of cuts you up and it's good to go. But it still felt weird. Now, this is the comparison I want to make with Western culture. We think often, we think plastic surgery is kind of weak. It's kind of it's something you should be ashamed of. It's something you should be embarrassed of. You shouldn't do it. If you do do it, you should kind of try to hide it. If you get some nose job, people don't want to show you pictures of them before the nose job so that you know they had a nose job. Um, Certain things are obvious. Breast implants are very obvious, so that's a little harder to deny. But in general, if you get plastic surgery, you don't want anyone to know. You want to pretend everything is natural. Which is, I think, foolish. And I think Korean people are right in just being kind of open about wanting plastic surgery, open about the fact that they got plastic surgery, and just generally talk about plastic surgery in a much more open way. So the question is, why are Westerners feeling this way about plastic surgery? There's something that we do. We have this common idea, which is, if you care about the way other people see you, it's bad. It's kind of a weakness. It means you, you're letting other people's um, decisions affect your life. And your life should only be about what makes you happiest. And if somebody thinks you're ugly, fuck them. If somebody thinks you're stupid, fuck them, okay? This is, um, this is how we're raised. You know, as a child in elementary school, you know, you tell your mom, oh, so-and-so is making fun of me. Your mom says, don't worry about what they think. Okay, this is really bred into our culture that, that part of being independent and living a good life is not caring what everyone else thinks. And I think a lot of Korean people admire that. They like that idea. And it is a good idea. It's a good way to live your life. And I think in Korean culture, you guys are often raised kind of the opposite way. Somehow care about what everyone thinks. Um, somebody who's especially of higher status than you or whatever, like you need to make them happy so that they, that's just part of Korean culture or, you know, so, and I mean, the words shisun, that word doesn't really exist in English. The idea of like the way other people are looking at you, like we don't really have that word because it's not supposed to be important to us. The thing is, we're humans. And humans care, just, just it's an innate 
natural thing that you care what other humans think about you. Okay, that's just deep in our in our soul. Not only that, like if you're, I mean, if you want to attract another person, you need to look attractive. Okay, we should be realistic. This is one of those examples where Westerners are very unrealistic and Korean people are very realistic. If I don't look good, then that pretty girl will not like me. If the pretty girl doesn't like me, then I can't be, I can't get with her, I can't be her boyfriend. So I should look good. Whereas Westerners, a lot of times, especially men, it's like this manliness thing to not give a shit what other people think. But really deep down inside, we all do. That's just a human thing. So when we hear about plastic surgery, you know, a lot of my American friends, in fact, um, ones who don't know anything about Korea, don't care about Korea, and they know I care about Korea and all that stuff, they'll send me a message and say, look at the statistic. Look, Korea has like the highest rate of plastic surgery in the world. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that amazing? Like, and, and they're always sending the message with this kind of um, intonation. I mean, it's a message. So they don't have intonation, but this they're sending it with this kind of idea that it's bad. What's wrong with Korea? They have such a high rate of plastic surgery. What's wrong with them? And I used to think about like this way too, but then after hanging out with Korean people a lot and understanding a little better, I realized, you know what? Korean people are right. If you want to look better and you want to get a surgery to look better, why not? Who the fuck cares? This is the thing with our Western ideals, our American ideals are getting in the way of what makes us truly happy. If me getting a nose job makes me happier in life, I should do it. If me getting double eyelids makes me happier in life, I should do it. I shouldn't care about the, the, the way I feel because of the way culture judges me, right? And this is the thing where we're really wrong. It reminds me a lot of something like premarital sex. I think in every culture in the world, traditionally, you know, a long time ago, every culture, American, Western, whatever, traditionally, you're not supposed to have premarital sex supposed to save sex until you get married especially for women of course especially for women and I think it's just a bad idea there's a lot of reasons why pre, why not having premarital sex is a bad idea number one like we're all gonna die someday you should enjoy the spice of life and have sex with multiple people it's probably a good idea number two before you get married you need to know if you guys are compatible in that way you should do that and see if, if you guys are okay before you spend your life with only that person only having sex with that person and you know I mean that's those are just two obvious reasons but you can see that you don't want to be trapped by your culture you don't want to be trapped by your traditions that tell you certain ways to behave that make you less happy if you don't have premarital sex you can very likely end up less happier than if you do and the only reason that stops you from doing it is some weird traditional pressure. So that's the example I use. But in our culture, for Americans, we get pressured by this idea of don't care what other people think, even though you do. Don't care what other people think. So if you want to get plastic surgery and it will make you happier, don't do it because it means you're weak. And our culture tells us we're pathetic if we do it. So really after hanging out with Korean people a lot, I realized plastic surgery is okay. If you want to get plastic surgery, go ahead and do it. Don't do it too much. Don't get addicted to it. Don't become Michael Jackson and have 100 plastic surgeries or whatever. But plastic surgery is all right. And if you want to share this with your, with your foreign friends and show them what I'm saying, go ahead because they should know it too. And they should realize about themselves that it's okay to have plastic surgery. And it's not something to be ashamed of. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hate this video, give it a thumbs down. If you love me or if you hate me, please subscribe right there. Um, this video, I don't know what people will think about this, honestly. It's just my feeling. I'm not too sure exactly how Korean people feel about plastic surgery themselves, but it seems to be relatively acceptable. So whatever you think about this video, please leave as many comments as you can. Even if it's just cook, 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 that's fine with me. Just please leave comments. Um, please share this video and any other videos I have with all of your friends. And that's it. So have a super awesome day.